Hi guys! <laughs> Exams in three days. <laughs> and I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Everything is just fine. Everything is just fine. Chill, bro. Chill, 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 chill. It's there. Everything's okay, yeah? Chill, bro. Everything's fine. It's cool, man. Everything's fine. Yeah, everything's fine. Everything's fine, Abraham. Chill. You need to calm down in it. Let's go. Let's go. Everything's fine, man. Chill. Everything's alright. It's cool. No! I chill. Michael's a Monday! I apologize for that, guys. I apologize for that. What is up, YouTube? What's up, nigga? AB Vlogs speaking to you today on how to prepare for exams. All right, for this video, I'm gonna go straight into the tips. Tip number one, work alone or in small groups. A lot of people think the more people they work with, the better their revision environment. For most people, that is not the case. I'm telling you that now. It's not healthy to have so many opinions in one, in one space at any given time. Maybe groups of like three, um, four is stretching it a bit. But I would say, yeah, we're working in small groups because when you work in small groups, like you're more productive as a team. So work alone in small groups. My tip number two, read up before and after. A lot of people go to lectures, make notes, go home and do nothing. What do you expect to achieve by that? Like, I mean, you're learning, don't get me wrong, you're learning, but when you don't practice it outside of the time constraint of a lecture, how do you expect to grasp the whole content of what was in that lecture when you have to listen, write, and all of that at the same time? It's just not possible, it's not possible. I know before the lecture you might not understand it because you might need the lecturer to tell you about it. And you can like find so many resources online to help you with that, because there's so much information online, like we actually underestimate the power of the internet. And I'm telling you guys right now, if you read up before and after and your grade doesn't improve, give me a give me a thumbs down, yeah? Dislike this video. Because I guarantee you, if you read up before and you read up after, then you will get this book back. I love doing that. <laughs> but yeah, for real though, man. Read up before and after and you'll see your grades go up. Tip number three not every lecture is essential not everything in your timetable is beneficial for you to attend and that's a fact that's a straight fact so why do you need to kind of show up to a lecture where you really understand i mean you can always gain new knowledge don't get me wrong you can always gain new information by going to a lecture some of you guys may have a different opinion if you have opinions leave it in the comments below i mean, like why not but you can gain more sometimes by going to the library and covering content on your own, or you can gain more by maybe working with a friend, going to a friend's house and seeing what they think, and then kind of working on a different a different topic than what is being covered in that lecture. So not every lecture is essential. I'm not saying don't go to your lectures, like please don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that. But I'm saying that just think sometimes whether a tutorial, a seminar, a lecture, um, a study class, like whatever you guys have, is um kind of like the best thing to go to yeah sometimes just think about it think about it tip number four library isn't always your best friend don't let people fool you at all library isn't the answer it's the environment that the library provides for a lot of people go best friend that's my best friend that's my best friend uh she finna uh uh, if the environment in your library is ideal, then by all means, library is your best friend. But a lot of people, a lot of people get it wrong and think because they go into library, they're being productive. That's not true. You have to decide whether the library is your best friend, right? Because what works for one person isn't always going to work for the next person. Tip number one. Cinco. Tip number five, have faith. Have faith. Faith is a big, big thing. I wanna really, yo, I can go on and on about faith. I might make a video about faith because faith is something that I really believe is a real strong value to have. Having faith means you get through kind of like low times because you believe and believing is the key to success, okay? 
okay? If you believe you can achieve, you will achieve. And I, AB Vlogs, wanna wish you guys good luck with all your exams and all your tests in the near future and in the present and in the past and yeah. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, all right? Hit the red, you know that red, that red rectangle below? Hit that, hit that. Subscribe to my channel, man. I got so much more to come. Yo, I'm just getting started. I don't think you guys understand. I'm just getting started right now. Like, ah, uh, like I can go on and on about it, but hit that subscribe button and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Peace. Deuces. Only you know what you're worth. No one else knows what you're worth. You know why? Because people aren't around you 24-7. They don't see every move you make. They don't see it. They only see what they want to see. Which means they value you at what, you, at what they want to value you at. But your real value is only you can know your real value. And I want people to understand that.